Good morning. Welcome to the Knitting Samurai Plus One video podcast. This is episode 69 and I am your host Steph, also known as Knitting Samurai over on Ravelry and now Instagram. I love Instagram. I discovered it yesterday and Steve was like, what's up with you? Why are you burying your face in the phone? <laughs> it's just so cool. Oh my god. I tried Plurk before and I'm sorry. The cats are making a weird noise. Okay, they're fine. I tried Plurk before and I just couldn't make sense of it. Like, I, I didn't understand it and I had tried Instagram once and yesterday I turned it on and it just worked. So, it just made sense in my brain. So that's fun. So, um, come over. Let's follow each other. It's so much fun to see what everybody's working on real time. So, I'm really enjoying that. So, how's it going? How's it going with you? Oh, it's very early Sunday morning, October 13th. And I know the date because this is my seventh anniversary, seventh year wedding anniversary. So happy birthday, happy birthday, happy anniversary to my husband Steve. And yeah, seven years ago today, I was very nervous at this time. <laughs> so we had a small outdoor wedding, um, very small, like our parents and his siblings were the only ones that were there. And um, outdoor, just oh, such a beautiful and it was cold and crisp and we still did it all up with the tuxes and all of the uh, like I have a beautiful wedding gown but I just didn't want a big crowd so anyways that was seven years ago today oh <laughs> anyways <clears throat> I am watching the clock I am without notes so I'm gonna try and use the iPad you're gonna have to forgive me um, sort of a spur of the moment recording here while everybody else is still asleep. So let's jump into it. The first thing um, is we have the finished object, <coughs> knit along, or not finished object, what are you working on? Knit along over in the thread going on right now. So I am just bringing up the do 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 the thread to see how many in progress projects, everybody's favorite. I love that thread by the way. Um, what's everybody working on? So it says we have 51 posts. So I'm going to use a random number generator and go random number generator. To why I have Mario music in my head. I don't know. Two through 51. And this is what's up for grabs. The skein of um, knitting in color and street spray. Spirit, street spirit, beautiful space dyed, or I don't know what kind of dye that is, but it's all broken. And the number generated is number 39. So if I hop back over the Rav and go to page two, number 39 is. I know, I know, live drawings. They're fun, but not all at the same time. Number 39 is Emma Loris. She says um, it is a Dorothy. Oh my God. Computer, why do you hate me so? Nope, wrong way. I clicked on the wrong thing and I lost it. And there we go. There is her. Dorflinger T for me. It's the first top she's knit in an adult tie, so there's the T. So that is, let me just click on her. Uh, she has no other name. So A M M I E L O R I S. This is coming your way. Drop me a PM and I will get it in the mail to you. Sorry, I can't spell your name or can't pronounce your name very well, but you should recognize your face. <laughs> so that's that. Oh shoot. Fail. Fail, fail, fail. We'll be okay. We'll get this right. So we did that. I want to remind you there is a blanket, <clears throat> a baby blanket knit along going on um, now through October 31st. So if you've got one on the needles and just need some encouragement to finish it, the group is a place to go. So work your way through that. Um, I am working on, yep, yep. Okay, I am working on the Vivid by Tin Can Knits with Baroque Vintage, several different colors, but using US size 7s, which are 
4.5 millimeter needles. There's the first square I finished. My goal was to do a square a week and just keep at it until they're done. And I think I need 24 squares for the size I'm gonna do. That's the front of the navy, so that's a navy. You might have recognized this red is my Jackaroo red. And yes, I am wearing my Silomar today. Wore it to work on Friday. Um, this is a beautiful golden heather. I really like the heathered looking colorways that they have. So that's what I bought a bunch of. And then another teal. I finished that one last night. So I'm pretty sure I'm not doing the cast on the correct way. I don't care. I'm doing Judy's Magic Cast On, which works for me. So um, it might not be as tight at the center, as zipped up as some other people's, but as long as all of my squares are the same, I'm going to be happy with that. So I did get a question this week about um, knitting them in the round, how I'm doing it. So I'm magic looping them back and forth, and I paid attention on this one this that I finished last night. So I'm magic looping them on a 24-inch circular needle, needle. So half the stitches on one side, half the stitches on the other side, until about row 21 when you start doing the corner increases right here. At that point, I'm able to stretch it out and make it fit so that I'm working in the round and then I just zip around. I am um, flipping my work. Let's see if I can tell. You can't really tell the difference. I've gotten much better at it than I was at the first one. I'm flipping my work at the end of the row each time so I don't have to purl a whole row. So it's, you know, to get the garter stitch look in the round. So I'm doing it one way, flipping it over, doing it the other way, flipping. Okay, makes sense. So, yeah, that's how I'm doing it. And I'm really enjoying them. I don't have, I feel like these colors really need a, um, a pumpkin orange. I have an olive and a plum color, and I'm, I'm missing the orange if I'm going to make it be like, oh, the colors of the rainbow. Um, there are suggestions on the pattern of square layout and kind of tempted to go that way but at the same time I know I can get three squares out of one skein of the vintage yarn and so it might just be cost efficient cost effective to just do three squares of each color because I have six colors now if I get one more that's seven times three is 21 squares so I need two more to get 24 squares so that's probably what I'll do and then try and follow her color layout we'll see so that's the Vivid, and my iPad shut down, so I'll just turn that on again. Um, also, this week, did I show this to you? No, I didn't. Okay, so the I finished something for the Knitting Samurai Plus One Colorway Knit Along. So this is the Grow Sweet Baby Hat, I believe is the name of it. Um, I've knit one before, I knit another one now. I'm going, going, going. Super quick little knit. So I knit this on um, US 2.53 millimeter needles. This is the uh, Norwegian Sweet Baby Cap by Grow, G-R-O. And I love it. It's free pattern on wrap. Super quick knit. I love the way the stripes turned out. Look at the little back of the head, the way the color went that way. Ah, oh, so cute. So I finished knitting it and immediately blocked it last weekend. It was really, really exciting for me to knit this. So, <clears throat> I enjoyed it. I had, um, how much yardage did I use to make this? I wrote it down, but not apparently here. I believe it was like 100 yards. Like, it used hardly any yarn at all. And I did knit the one-year size, but went down to needle size. So, it's probably closer to a six-month size cap. But I think it's really, really cute. And it made me say, why don't I knit all of the uh, co-worker slash friend baby hats that I'm going to make in for January babies in sock weight yarn? Because it's just so squishy and soft lovely and really nice so that's done but I am still working on my other um, my bigger more it's not bigger it's just taking me longer I should say my more long-term project for the knit along which is the um, Byzantine mitts by La Maison Raleigh Raleigh and these are knit on US size fives as well. I am doing, adding in like the vanilla bean sock pattern by Emily Locke. I took her stitch pattern and I'm using that to slip stitches. So you've seen the first one finished before. The second one, I have like 20 rows to go on the hand. So the thumb is off. <clears throat> See, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. 
yeah the second one's a little larger a little looser um they're okay but i don't know if i'll wear them they're kind of crazy loud but we'll see <laughs> of course i'll wear them of course i'll wear them i love the color um and they go really well with my three-quarter length sleeves right they cover up finish the difference so what do i have to tell you about these mm, not too much i think it's a it's a free pattern on Ralph, pretty sure. And as soon as these are done, I'm going to cast on another project. So out of the one skein of Inspiration Dye Works yarn, that's for the knit along, I have completed, I will get three projects out of it because I have enough left over. I think I'm going to do a set of matching baby leg warmers to go with this. And that'll be a cute, cute, cute set to give to baby Ariel. So there you go. <laughs> yes, they are coming along. Let me just check my timer. I've got my attention split everywhere. Right. And here we go for round two. <laughs> okay, so next up, Roland's Rhinebeck sweater. Okay, so this was the Abernathy by Tracy Krauss. US size 7, 4.5 millimeter needles. Done, woven in, blocked, button sewn on, finished. I know, I'm so excited. This was super addictive. I could not stop. I finished and was like, can I start another one right now? Like, can I justify it? And I, I, unless I knit like two sizes up, I really can't because he doesn't like to wear sweaters. Just generally, that's not his thing. But um, too bad, honey, you're wearing one to fly back. So this is for Roland. I knit the um, two T size, but I my gauge was off. So it was closer to the three T size, which is what he actually wears. And I did measure the chest and it came out very very good um i got him in it for like 10 seconds while my mom was here and then he proceeded to stretch it and get his arm he was just i couldn't get pictures of him in it but i will i will so here it is i have this oops little cute toggle button in the stash um i did change the center cable you've seen that before right change that center cable i i really don't have any new insights to add other than that i really love the sweater i think it came out awesome I used about 400 yards of yarn, so keep that in mind if you're looking to knit a relatively small, quick project. The Abernathy is a really good choice. So, there you go. Pictures will be forthcoming of my little guy. Speaking of my little guy, here's a little preface of this week's clip. My parents were visiting, um, when I was it? Thursday night. My dad had been traveling and hadn't seen Ro for a couple weeks, and so Ro was just all over him and super excited to see him. And um, so they're playing on the floor and the rest of us are kind of sitting on the couch talking and, you know, visiting. And Dad stopped for a minute and went in the bathroom. Or I should say Pepe because that's what we call him now. Pepe, not Dad. Pepe went in the bathroom and Roland went about playing something else. And we think he forgot Dad was here. So this was his reaction. No. Come here. Daddy wants a hug. No. Oh, nice hug. Oh. <laughs> Everybody else to get on that thing. So do something else with him than than that. Don't get on that tiara. I think he forgot you were here. <laughs> I think he forgot too. Are you dancing, you with the bay? Ring around the rosy. Oh, pocket full of posy oh. ashes. Oh. <laughs> Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posy ashes to ashes. We all fall down. <laughs> he jumps on that thing. Ring oh, around the rosy, diaper. pocket full of posy ashes to ashes. We all fall down. <laughs> Oh, it hurts just being into that. Well, Pepe fell down, too. Was that not the cutest thing? <laughs> Sorry if it hurt your ears. I just thought it was hilarious. So, the um, Jingle Socks, the, which are the tri-corner cable socks by myself. I designed them, like, four or five years ago, so... <laughs> It's a good refresher on the pattern for me to be knitting them. They are available for free on Rav. I did fix the links and such, so if you're interested in knitting them, you can. They are basically a simple vanilla sock with a nice cable up the foot and then multiple cables around the leg. 
This yarn is Knit Picks Felici in the Jingle colorway. I think it was $3.50 and a skein on Knit Picks. So if you, if you like it, it's a discontinued color, go grab a skein right now. You have my permission to go yarn shopping. The Felici is a gorgeous yarn to knit with. I forget this and then I knit with it and I'm like, why don't I knit with this all the time? It is so freaking flipping, oh, squishy, 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 squishy yarn. It's gorgeous. Um, I am knitting on US Zeros, two millimeter needles and there you go. So that's the first one. I'm past that third green stripe and on the second one, I'm just starting the third green stripe, so. Really enjoying these. They're great purse take along knitting. So soft. Oh. Oh. And this is my October, my 10th pair of self striping socks for the year. So they're moving. They're moving slower though, I have to be honest. I was really into them. And then I saw how close I was to the end of the fingerless mitts and I was like, oh, just make a big push and get those done. So I can knit the next project with that yarn. And um, I'm not enjoying the slip stitch as much as I have in the past. That's the, the honest answer about why I'm not wild about those. They're, they'll be fine, but. Um, so I was working on those, making a big push, wanted to finish the sweater. Like my attention has been very drawn and I've been trying to force other things into the purse. So these are now going back into the purse and I will finish the, um, the fingerless mitts during the football game today. Football game, like I only watch one. <laughs> no. There will be multiple game viewings in this house today. Is this not perfect for this time of year? Oh, don't you love it? I, I, I love it. I know. I'm totally a teal girl, huh? So, I told you last time I had ordered some yarn from Leading Man Fiber Arts. It came. Steven was so sweet and he caked it up for me before it got here so I could cast on right away because I'm a baby and he's nice to me. <laughs> and so six skeins of the gorgeous Dramatig base in the industrial colorway arrived at my house and then I got stage fright <laughs> because that's what happens. Um, and then really late one night, what night was it? Must have been Thursday night. Really late Thursday night, I was like, that's it, I'm doing this. I'm just doing this. And so I cast on for the Vodka Gimlet by Baby Cocktails. That's a tiny picture, but at least you get a picture, right? I think that is a gorgeous, no button, um, small shawl collar sweater. She, Baby Cocktails, who is that? Thea Coleman? I've knit one of her other sweaters. Can't think of which one right now. Either the Dark and Stormy was hers. I think it was Dark and Stormy. Really good, uh, <clears throat> super thick, like eight pages of instructions. Very pleased with the pattern thus far. And um, yeah, it's a top down, all in one sweater construction. Okay, so for my size, by the time I get to the end of the yoke, I'm at 400 plus stitches. <gasps> the last two sweaters I've knit for me have been in pieces, so this is like, whoa, rough. Rough, rough, rough. Oh, and let me mention, I did have to go down a needle size, so I am knitting on US size sixes. Because I believe the pattern's for um, worsted weight yarn, but even though this is a DK, I figured I could make it work. And going down to sixes, I'm getting gauge, and it looks gorgeous. So, I am mid-row. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, it's not like you get a, a good sense of anything from a top-down sweater anyways. But I will show you this. I am completely in love with this yarn, let me tell you. Can you see the beautiful stitch definition? Can you see the beautiful spots of like a dark deep maroon that are flecked throughout there? <gasps> it's so gorgeous. There's some black, there's some gray. Oh, this is the industrial colorway, by the way. And I'm just loving it. I'm loving life. So I am about halfway through the yoke. Here's how the sweater looks from the front. So I'm about halfway through the yoke increases before I split off for the sleeves. Um, I don't expect this to be a super fast knit. I am alternating skeins just for the simple fact that, you know, I don't know. I, it is really soft and it's pretty easy to knit. I know that I'm going to have fun doing the bit of detail around the waist and I love that the sleeves have these really long bits of uh, two by two rib cuffs. So. We'll see, I am just, oh, I can't say enough good things about it. <laughs> so that's that. Um, yeah, more to come on that. 
I'm sure. So besides that, I, I don't think I have anything else to share with you this week, except to say, uh, and it's not really a week, it's 10 days, right? I, I'm, I'm a little slow this month. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope you are having a great time with whatever's going on in your knitting world. Come over, chat on the wrap boards, um, leave a rating in iTunes. Really appreciate it when you do take a chance, take a minute and do that. What else? Share what you're working on. I'm going to open a new thread for next month's in progress projects thread. And that's it. That's it. Yeah. And the baby blanket goes through the end of October. And then we're going to look at a new knit along. I was thinking last year in January, it was so much fun when we all did the sweater knit along together. So put that in the back of your mind that next January, I'd like to do one again. And um, yeah, something that we all do the same sweater again. So think about that. I don't know. I know that uh, Malia has was knitting the Irish Coffee by Thea Coleman. And I think that w is a beautiful sweater too. So I could see me wearing Anyways, um, that's it. That's all I have for housekeeping stuff. I hope you enjoy what you're knitting. I have been definitely bit by the knitting bug with these cool days, watching lots and lots of podcasts, catching up with people that I've fallen behind with, so that's nice. And um, yeah, yeah, enjoy what's going on with you. And I will see you in about 10 days or so. Okay, bye.